Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tiffany Beeson from Beauty and the Beasons and I upload every single Sunday and Wednesday. I also just popped my February um, schedule on here just in case you're not signed up for my newsletter. If you want to sign up for my newsletter, all you have to do is go to tiffanybeeson.com, scroll down to the bottom and enter email. I also have like tons of free printables over there. I send you my meal plan for the week and all of that. But today we are doing a cleaning video along with some home maintenance. The first thing I'm doing in today's video is just quickly shampooing our couch. And by quickly, I mean like it took like a half hour, but a half hour is so much shorter than me taking every single cushion cover off putting it in the washer, hanging them to dry, and then trying to squeeze them back in. I will do that when I start my spring cleaning series, um, when we do like the living room deep clean. But right now, this works perfectly. Um, what motivated me to do this was just because like we honestly just need it, like the whole maintenance and the cleaning after the holidays and all of that. But we're also hosting Tanner's uh, family birthday party today. So I wanted to just go ahead and make sure everything was nice and clean for our family coming over. So I absolutely love this little green machine. I'll have it linked down below. I've had it for about a year now and it's amazing. It's great for spot cleaning and things like that. If you have pets or kids, definitely need one of these. But for the couch, you really just need to mist it. You don't need to saturate it. Um, and it still gets everything out. The only spots I saturated were like where there was a stain or any food or drink that was spilled on here. But you'll see the water, it was actually like black. It was so gross. So that's why I like to do this once in a while. What's kind of funny is that we're having a party. I'm probably going to need to do it again after with all of the kids. But, you know, mom life, we're always cleaning something, right? Um, so here's like a little stain. I want to show you how well it gets it out. So in today's video, I wanted to add that it's a home maintenance as well, just because there's like a couple little things around the house that need to be touched up. I'm sure you can relate. And this is just going to be part one because there are so many things to do still. Like, I think I might do it in my kitchen video. I think it's one of my next videos coming up. It's like a kitchen deep clean and restock. And I think I'm going to like recalk the kitchen and just touch up some paint in there do a deep clean of the dishwasher and a deep clean of the oven. So it's like home maintenance as well. In this video, Chris is going to be um, spackling the stairs. Our, um, our robot vacuum slash mop completely fell down the stairs like 10 different times and it chipped one of the stairs. And unfortunately, RIP to that robot um, mop vacuum. The last time it took a spill, it's just completely done. So that stinks, but we got a new one. Um, but yeah, just I feel like some home maintenance motivation might be good for you as well. I know I want to do like a deep clean of the washer. I did clean the vents in the dryer. Just like little things like that. I consider us pretty clean people, but it doesn't matter whenever you shampoo the couch or the rugs are gross and same with, you'll see my mop water a little bit later. Um, but speaking of rugs, we're also going to be putting down a new rug. I was kind of nervous at first because I went pretty pink uh, and I was like, okay, when it first came, I was like, alright, well maybe we'll put this in the girls room. But right now I'm loving it in the living room and maybe I'll eventually move it to the girls room, but right now it's making me happy where it's at. Um, so continuing on in the living room, I'm just using some magic eraser on our little plastic table right here. This is where they paint. This is where they have snacks. Just like so many different things that get stains on it. I saw a quote the other day that was talking about how like now is not our time for the perfect home and stuff like that when we have small kids. And although it's obvious, it did just help me because it's true. Like we're going to miss these stains one day and it's understandable if our homes aren't perfect when we're raising our families in them, you know, as long as we're happy and healthy, that's all that matters. So right now I am using the magic eraser. I will say I'm not going to let them draw on this table with um, Tanner's new markers that he got for Christmas. He got like 
the actual art markers and they're kind of like permanent markers. They're great for when you're actually using them in a sketch pad, but if you're using them with just paper on anything, it goes right through. So not doing that again on here. Next thing I'm doing under, I guess, I don't know if you can call this maintenance because it's adding something new, but these are supposed to be clear stair treads and they're not clear, but they're perfectly fine for what we need them for. I need to put these on the stairs since we had, there's the chapel, chapel's giving you an example, um, but we need to put these on the stairs since we got the rug taken off um, because they're very slippery for the dogs. The kids are fine on them, but the dogs sometimes have a hard time with them, so since adding these stair treads, they're very affordable from Amazon, pretty easy to put on. Um, I just feel better about the stairs and there's more grip for not only the dogs, of course, but also for the kids. So you can see it's like a giant sticker and you basically just rub it on here, try to make sure there's no air bubbles and that kind of thing. but. While I'm sitting here doing this, do you guys also have spring fever? Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to be outside. Like, I'm so tired of being in the house, and I'm somebody who's always freezing because I have thyroid disease, so I'm ready for that nice warm weather and just being able to be outside and feel the grass on my feet and the sand on my feet and the sunshine in my face, just all of that. The kids have a spring break coming up, and we really looked into like a million different places to like go somewhere and then ultimately just like decide it against it. Um, obviously, we would love to go to the Bay House, but they're getting ready to rip the decks out there. It was supposed to happen last summer, and it just like I guess the contractor got too busy to do it. Um, so now they're doing it, and I'm hoping it's done by spring break, but I know how long these things can take. So say a little prayer for us. I'm just feeling a little stir crazy that I feel like always in February and March, I'm just like, oh my gosh, like I'm just ready for spring. I will say January flew by for me this year. What about you? So my next video on Wednesday is going to be at Tanner's Akedo party prep. You probably have no idea what Akedo is. It's like these like little ninjas that fight each other. It's like one of his favorite toys. He has a whole carrying case of it. But Tanner seems to pick themes sometimes that can be really challenging. So there honestly was not much on Akedo. And then I spent almost $40 on a cake topper since I was like, all right, I'm just going to do a simple cake and we were on Pinterest together and he saw the cake topper and loved it. Side note, here is our new robot vacuum and mop and here's what the other one did to the basement stairs so Chris is just going to caulk that and retouch it. But anyway, back to um, the party. So Tanner really loved this cake topper that like Etsy was showing us through Pinterest and I was like, okay, you know, I'll just... We can buy this expensive cake topper and then I'll just do like a really simple cake. Well, it's still not here. It got lost in the mail. Like tracking hasn't updated for like five days. So I had to come up with like a whole new game plan last night. And mind you, his birthday party is today when I'm doing this voiceover. So it's just, you know, he loves it and that's all that matters. There was a point when I was like staring at the cake and I was like, I just want to smash this thing and throw it away. And then Carter walked over. I didn't say anything out loud. Carter walked over and he was like, mom this cake is awesome you're so good at this and it was just like a nice little reminder that like your kids are gonna love whatever cake you make them regardless but anyway there's it was just like hard to find decorations for so i'm just kind of feeling down on myself that like it wasn't like the best that it could be for his party but i'm sure that he loves it and he also had um, a friend birthday party already at the trampoline park which he had a blast at and then yesterday for the party i was up until like 2 a.m. because I had to take the boys to two different birthday parties. It's just a lot of their friends parties this month. Um, so now Chris is cleaning out our nugget ice maker. I always get questions about this. 
on the instructions it tells you to run bleach through it you will never catch me running bleach through my ice maker so we do vinegar um, and that just does the trick and it works great so you kind of just let whatever water is in there out and then Chris is going to show you you move from ice to cleaning um, and then I don't know I don't I've never done it before so let's watch and see how you do it looks like he's plugging it in here I feel like a commentary like what my boys watch they're always watching like gamers comments and like about different games or like different YouTube videos so anyway I'm sure you can relate if you have kids now just pouring the vinegar through and like eventually it tells you when it's done um, washing this out we probably have to do this like every two weeks or so What are some home maintenance things that you need to do that you've been putting off? I just feel like it's nice to like start doing them now. I know everyone tries to go right into like spring cleaning, but I'm always here for a head start. Um, speaking of a head start, I did not get a chance to plan my week last week and I was a hot mess. Take the time, trust me, take the time to plan your week. I forgot about the two different birthday parties that we had Saturday um until like the last minute so that morning we're going out getting gift cards and plus you know we're already doing all this stuff for tanner's birthday party so definitely plan your week just makes everything run smoother i've already planned this week and it's just i'm hoping this week is just smooth sailing and good health and able to exercise in the morning because i honestly cannot stand exercising in the afternoon or like trying to get in at night it's the worst Shout out to Chris for cleaning this ice maker because it looks like a lot of work. He put a post in it that's not a joke. I guess this just like helps vacuum out like, wait, that's not a vacuum. It's like a leaf blower. What is he doing? <laughs> I guess I just gets like any dust out. Anyway, moving on to my new rug that makes me so happy. It's one of those rugs that comes from Amazon in a, in a box and you're like, wait, what did I order? Like, how is a rug going to be in a box? But there's no like... um nothing that you have to put under it like no pad or anything it has like little grippers that it goes to the ground and it's incredibly soft so it's only been like three days but i love it so far and it has really great reviews It's always amazing the amount of stuff you find under your couch like there the dogs were like oh it's Christmas they had like a ton of dog toys under there and of course just random stuff from the kids and we love a good popcorn movie night so of course I'm always finding like popcorn or kernels in the couch but again I just love how this came out. Now I'm just giving everything else in here a quick wipe down and then we're going to move into the kitchen. Mind you, I'm filming this at like 11 o'clock last night um, after I got done like decorating the cake and finished decorating the house for Tanner's birthday party. Um, you'll notice there's not like a big backdrop on the wall because I put it on a stand this time because I didn't want to hide um, the pictures that we have under the stairs. So that'll be different for today. And for some reason, I just... I don't know I love um, my summer birthdays and the spring Carter I guess you can consider that um, summer June 20th right before summer I feel like I do so much better with outdoor parties because there's so much more we can do and in the winter we struggle that's why Carter usually has a combined friend and family party because we just do something outside and we'll like rent a blow up or something 
And then for Tanner, he usually does like a friend birthday party. This is the first year he didn't do it at um, a movie theater. So he did it at a trampoline park and they had a blast. I actually love how short um, the like friend parties are because they're just like, there's no sitting around or being bored. They're just like having so much fun. They eat their pizza and have their cake and jump around. It's great. Um, but anyway, you know how making your own icing is a mess. It just, I don't know how to make it clean, but it is a mess. There's powdered sugar everywhere. Um, so everything in the kitchen just needs like a really good wipe down. I need to wash the dishes, I need to clean the sink, just get everything ready for the party and just back to baseline basically. that my kitchen aid is nice and clean no more sugar all over it I am just using the rest of this liquid I made this cleaner a couple of months ago and it lasted a really long time it's just vinegar and lemon peels and so I just used up the rest of it so I just do that in the sink with some baking soda and dish soap and it really does work amazing plus it smells like lemons and for some reason I'm the type of person that I feel like when you smell like a little bit of vinegar it just smells more clean I don't know if that's because I use like natural products or what but I don't mind a little bit of like a vinegar hint when there's a lemon in it I'm also just going over it with a little bit of a magic eraser for like whatever dark stains were in here again you know that having a white sink is a high maintenance it's like you have to pick what you want because you can have like the stainless steel one that has scratches in it too or you can have the white ones that get stained um, I don't know like what the perfect in between is but I I love my white sink I love my stainless steel sink and they're still just a sink is a sink I guess don't mind my dance moves there I'm delirious at this point it's after midnight and let me tell you first I have to use all my Swedish dishcloths were dirty so I'm using just a like really warm microfiber cloth first to wipe down all of like the sugar and random stuff and then I'm spraying everything down with my thieves cleaner I also have to clean the cooktop because that was a mess and you know one I need to clean it in general but two we're having brunch so the party starts at 11 we have it catered from like our favorite local restaurant and it's great it's always hit breakfast food is like some of my favorite food ever um, but yeah I just want everything to be clean since most people will be hanging out in the kitchen which is also why I'm just making sure I'm going over the knobs and stuff because they tend to get sticky with four little kids running around I'm not doing anything too fancy right now I'm just trying to get um, to bed on time and still like edit this video so all I did was there's like a couple of pieces of food on here I just picked those up and then I used a wet um, rag and then a microfiber with um, you know my thieves cleaner spray and it still looks perfect right without being too extra it's perfect um, for the following day and for Tanner's party and it also it just feels so good to wake up to everything being nice and clean since I've been doing parties for so long I've been really trying to do the most that I can in advance so that the next day is just really focused on cleaning getting the diffusers going getting music going setting up food and drinks and just that kind of thing also you always want to clean the toilets before guests come and just I always wait till the last minute to clean the bathrooms because you know they can get messed up pretty quickly um, so although an, a keto party might not resonate with you when you come back from my party prep I'm also just going to be doing like my how to's and how many days in advance I do everything and what helps me in general 
for parties and party prepping just giving you like all of my little tips and tricks Finally, it is time to do the floors. I'm just using the Tinico. This thing is amazing. The floors need it so much love. You'll see I'm basically just doing the kitchen right now because I'll do the rest the following day before and after the party. But from the kitchen alone, you're going to see how gross the water is. It's just... It's just it is what it is you know what I feel though I feel like if I were to mop and my water was clean like afterwards and I'm pouring out a clear water I'd feel like I didn't do a good enough job or like the mop didn't work because it's so satisfying seeing that gross water honestly maybe it's just me because I'm a weirdo could be um, but you'll also see me picking up some chunks and you'll also see my party prep video but I use these sprinkles on the cake that were like falling all over the place and they have like the big round ball candies in them so the Tinico was like, I am not picking up those sprinkles, girl. So here I am using the broom because I don't want to wake up the kids. Plus, sometimes I just feel like the broom gets it better. see there's that water i'm talking about also if you have a tanico you have to really scrub it afterwards so it doesn't get stinky so i did wash it and let everything um, sit out to air dry and now chris and i are tag teaming this playroom because we can't be having people over with it looking like this so I always say this, but if it looks like this, that means you have too much stuff and you need to get rid of some or, you know, we obviously, we donate all the time, um, but also I think it'd be great to all, to rotate toys out, but something has got to give with this playroom, like this setup must not be good, like something isn't working for us, so I have to change it. I've been like thinking of different things to do. I don't just want to like create more bins and bins and bins, I need to like really figure out what they're playing with and what they're not playing with or Chris is saying how we should just put a bunch of stuff in a Tupperware and see if they miss it or if they ask for it also it's just Chris right now because Everly woke up and I had to go comfort her she's in a big girl bed now she's doing amazing um, Chris put up a short of taking down the crib with like things of her as a baby and it's like I can't even watch it without crying um, so if you want to see that, if you want to go cry, go ahead and watch uh, Chris's short that he put up on YouTube. Um, he also is vlogging today for the party prep, for the actual party. Um, I know we haven't put up like a vlog in a while, but that's kind of like our thing. Like we're not going to be vlogging as frequently. Chris is taking his real estate classes. And I don't know if I mentioned to you guys, but I'm also getting my real estate license. Um, but I'm waiting for him to be done his classes. I just feel like it's something great to have, you know, and we would make a great team. So that's just a new fun little chapter. I'm still always going to do YouTube. I absolutely adore my channel and adore my people. And this is my creative outlet. And I just feel like I've created an amazing community of women and moms. And I would never just leave you like that. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you on Wednesday.